Photoplex Octodome NXT XS for you today. So here's just a general overview of the unit. I bought this uh, Octodome kit from Photoflex from B&H and it came with the kit. It came with the light stand and it came with this uh, umbrella swivel and it came with all of the, uh, the strobe stuff for the uh, for speed lights. The little attachment here for the, for the hot, for the cold shoes and uh, the o Octodome itself and the speed ring. So it's a really good kit. It was around $200. I'll put the price up here for what I paid for it. Uh, just general overall impressions, it's awesome. Photoflex stuff is really good quality. When I opened the box and started looking at it all, I couldn't believe how actually heavy duty the light stand was. It felt really, really solid compared to the other kind of uh, cheapies I have. And it was really good. Really enjoyed that, and I like the general construction of the materials in the softbox. It's all very durable. The actual softbox material itself feels kind of like if you uh, have done anything with uh, karate or uh, Aikido or any kind of martial arts. That cotton duck, that tough material that they have in those uh, karate and martial arts gis, that kind of stuff. That's what this feels like. It feels like a really tough fabric or something like on a like on a Carhartt uh, work bib or something like that. Overalls, it's like that material for the outside of this, so it's very good, strong quality material, and the overall impressions of it is that it's really good stuff, made to last. Here you can see how the cold shoe assembly is put together. There are uh, come, the unit comes with two studs for uh, for putting onto your swivel bracket, and it comes with the two cold shoe uh, adapters here for your for your flash, or uh, if you're also using a radio slave or radio trigger, you can also just put it on here onto this cold shoe, which is very handy. And this other one here connects directly into the speed ring, and I'll take that apart for you in a minute and show you how that goes. The other configuration that you can do to uh, set up your uh, uh, octodome, instead of having it on here, if you want to keep balance more underneath the actual uh, softbox itself, you can actually put it uh, this uh, stud here into the umbrella swivel as well. I'll show you that configuration right now. So this is the way I use this octodome primarily. I have it set up like this so that the stud goes from here connecting right to the speed ring so that all your weight is kept vertical on the light stand and it's uh, more centrally located with the balance of the whole thing. So this is an inside view of the Octodome. As you can see, it has Velcro all over the inside here for the interior diffusion screen, as well as a good chunk of Velcro along the outside edge for the actual uh, diff the main diffuser as well. And you can see the, the speed ring on the inside there just connecting to the bottom of that uh, uh, cold shoe assembly here. This uh, system is also awesome because it has uh, this speed ring you can also use for actual studio strobes and I thought that was a very good kind of selling point for this system to get into it. I am currently using it with speed lights but if I ever do get a actual strobe I could use the same system without having to get rid of it and get something else. So I thought that's a really good uh, selling feature with this particular product. There's the Octodome with the interior diffusion screen in there. And right now, you can almost use this as a beauty dish because you have this really nice reflective surface on the inside, very specular. Then you have this uh, diffusion screen here. You could use it in this formation and have another versatile aspect of this, uh, this Octodome. Here's a side profile shot of the Octodome with the speed light attached. The uh, cold shoes that they have on here are very sturdy. They're more like along the lines of the uh, strobo frame, uh, screw-on sh cold shoe, and they really hold the flash in place really, really well. Uh, and that's another good selling point of this product. This whole shoe assembly is also fully adjustable. So if you have a larger strobe or a smaller strobe, you can move this whole thing up and down. And the cold shoe holders themselves also slide uh, forwards and backwards on this uh, assembly here too. So you have a lot of range of adjustment in here which is really good. So if you have a large flash or small you can use it with this setup. The only critique I really have about this whole system is how the cold shoe assembly and bracket here adheres to the speed ring itself. There's two different, they give you two different studs in this kit and one is a little bit longer than the other one and I really recommend you use this longer version because it has uh, just a little bit longer of threads and they bite a little bit more. For a long time I was using this shorter threaded version 
and it just did not bite very well, and it did fall apart a couple times on me. I was frustrated. And then I realized, oh, wait a minute, I should use this other stud that came with this. So I recommend you use this one, and you can use it in two different ways. There is a small setup here in the speed ring itself that can go on with this fine quarter 20 thread, and that works like, you know, same way. It just screws into the speed ring itself, and it screws in through this uh, bracket here. And it goes through this way, and there's another little kind of a guide that goes on the side of this. It's just a little screw-in um, kind of a piece there. And that prevents it from getting all twisted out of shape and gives it some more stability in there to prevent the speed ring from moving a whole bunch when it's adhered to. Now, that's pretty good. It's a good feature. But the problem is, is that there's a lot of torque on this, and I would prefer to use the uh, heavier threaded end. So when you do that, you just take this off. And this is quite tight, but I used a screwdriver, just a straight screwdriver, and you can unscrew this little stud, and you can either put it underneath, screw it in from the bottom so you don't, you don't lose it, or just take it off, put it on shelf, forget about it. And that way, when you put this big guy in here, it bites into the speed ring, and it's got just a more solid feel, and there's not quite so much movement on there when you use the, the bigger end, so I do recommend that. The only other point I'll make about the speed ring itself is that Everybody knows soft boxes are a pain in the butt, so they're not really all that conducive for location work, but it's really not that bad once you get the hang of it and putting this all together. What I did on the speed ring is I actually took a little uh, marker and I marked which hole I used uh, for, the, for the stud to screw into because there's two different ones that are threaded, if not three, yeah, there's three. And the one, if you use the small, if you use the small stud, I mean, that's pretty easy to figure out. But if you want to use the larger one, which is what I recommend, it's really good to actually put a little mark there so you know which one is which. And so when you go to put this all together and line up the bottom for the flash bracket, it actually works out in the end. And, uh, and so that's just key. Just put a little mark on this one. You know which one to screw this into. And then the rest of the speed ring uh, kind of works with all the rods together. And I'll show you how that all works right now. So this is the bottom of the softbox when you set it up because this is where your uh, flash cold shoot uh, assembly will go. So just remind, remember to keep that towards the bottom. And if you've made the mark on your speed ring the way that you should to, uh, for the proper stud, this is the end that goes down. So if you do that, you're ahead of the game. You've already won the battle. From then on, you just go and start by putting in these uh, rods into the opposite ended sides of the speed ring as you go around. Alright, so there's my review of the Photoflex Octodome NXT XS little softbox. It's a great little unit, I've been really happy with it, and it's just fantastic for doing portraits and headshots because you get that really nice octodome catch light in the eye that only photographers look for, nobody cares if it's a square or not, do they? Uh, it's great. Uh, the other great thing about it is for doing uh, product photography of small products, it works really, really great for that. Uh, the kit that I got from B&H is just great, that light stand and all the parts that come with the kit are fantastic. All good quality stuff that's going to last a good long while. So I highly recommend that you uh, look and check into the Photoflex Octodome NXT XS. It's a great little unit. And at first I was a little unsure of Photoflex because their YouTube channel is a little bit uh, lacking. However, they make really, really great products and I'll be buying some more in the future for sure. Thanks for watching. Thank you.